Elizabeth Warren got asked about, hey, lots of successes that have happened recently uh, under the Biden administration and under his leadership, but he's still very unpopular polling wise. His approval rating is still very low. Even though other Democrats are seeing boosts, he's not seeing that significant of a boost. He has gone up a little bit in approval rating. And I really don't like her answer. I really don't. Elizabeth Warren is somebody who generally I get along with politically as a, I mean, I don't interact with her, but I kind of line up with and I like the way that she handles a lot of interviews and stuff like that. This time I, I didn't like it. So let's take a look. This is yet another victory for for the president and his supporters. And as you note, uh, in your view, for the rest of the country as a whole, um, take off your political hat on that front. Everyone would like to have their their loans paid down and go to college. Uh, at least most Americans would. But it has been a successful run for the president. You can't deny that, whether on foreign policy initiatives uh, and here at home economically and with legislation, we see inflation still high, but it does appear to be peaking gas prices prices are going down as well. Um, yet it seems that he is not benefiting at the polls from this. Why do you think that his approval ratings remain stubbornly low at this point? Oh, come on. Haven't we learned over the past few years about uh, the trouble with polls? Uh okay, so I'll keep that. I'll let her continue to talk. I won't cut off there permanently, but I want to butt in to say, no, the... <laughs> You're giving a Trump answer almost. Wow, polling, polling, schmoling. No, 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 no. Polling has not been so off that it's not relevant. Polling has just, you know, given the best odds to the wrong person or said this person is most likely to win and then they don't in the case of Trump, um, Hillary. But again, the prediction from pollsters were, or at least one of the prominent ones, was 70% chance Hillary would win, 30% chance Trump would win. Do you know how probability works? That means... There's a chance Trump could win. So you can't just throw out all polling whenever it um, doesn't necessarily perfectly predict what happens. It's still a good way to get a sense of uh, people's sentiment towards different individuals. And so her giving like a ah, polling polling answer irritates me because it's acting as if it's not the reality that people aren't as happy with Biden as you would think they would be based on the recent political uh, wins that he's gotten. Right. Um so I don't like that. Uh, but other Democrats, but other Democrats are are faring well. They are seeing a positive response from me, from voters. What matters to me is that we are getting things done that need to be done. I mean, look at what just happened in the. All right, and then she goes on that angle, which is listen. What I care about is that we're getting things done that need to be done, which is valid. That I'm sure you don't need to spend that much time concerned with Biden's approval rating, but in a sense, you do. All Democrats need to be concerned with the popularity of themselves and the president. Now, that shouldn't completely demand what you're doing in any, in any given moment, and you should just always push to do the right things and try to better people's lives, of course. But it's important to know if people are happy or not with the president, with people in power. And it allows you to know how much political capital are we, you know, able to spend here and what are our chances looking like in the upcoming election and um, pretending another thing that politicians do a lot is listen I don't I'm not concerned with the upcoming election what I care about is what we're doing today in Congress and while they should be care to, uh, should be concerned with that the upcoming coming up ugh, guys the upcoming election is incredibly important it has massive ramifications that's where we choose who is in power. So if you want to continue doing good things, Elizabeth Warren, if you want to continue being the party that has legislative power, then you got to care about the election. And that means you got to care about the popularity of Biden and yourself and Democrats as a whole. And so right now, it's a valid question to wonder, why is Biden not seeing uh, his approval rating go up as much as other Democrats, as much as uh, you would expect after a president gets a lot of good press for doing a lot of political successes. And uh, and so answering like, ah, whatever, that's pointless. That's kind of the vibe she gave off, especially if you're watching in the video version. She's doing a lot of visual things that's kind of like, ah, come on. Um, and I just don't think that's authentic. I don't think that's what people want to hear. Because I want an answer. When I see Elizabeth Warren on TV getting asked that question, I'm like, yes, I need an answer to that. Um, as far as see what her analysis is, I need to know 
why in Washington they're kind of, what is their consensus on why Biden isn't as popular? Because that's important for them to know going forward. I mean, it's important for them to have a game plan to address that. And she just completely waved it off, which I really didn't like. Um, again, generally, I'm good with Elizabeth Warren, but on that one, definitely not. So hopefully they'll get their, um, you know, stuff together and figure out why Biden isn't as popular as you'd hope him to be. And it could just be people don't feel like he's a good leader based on his communication ability, which is not great these days. Um, absolutely. And so people are great with the successes that are happening and give Democrats credit for it, but then see him and go, all right, good job for those things, but you're still not someone who should be the president based on your cogn cognitive ability or something like that. Um, that could be the case. But whatever it is, they need a game plan going forward um, to hopefully win the midterms and keep it being politically effective um, afterwards.